Alright, so you can present the ticket. No, 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 no you can present it. <laughs> no. I don't want it. No. No. What makes you think I want it? Ew. Challenge this parking ticket. Do you have a driver's license? I do not have a driver's license on me. Okay, I need your driver's license. Oh. Could I challenge it then? It has to be the registered owner. Alright. Well, could I like swear that I am who I say I am? It has to be the registered owner of the vehicle. Okay. I would like to challenge the ticket. Is this yours? It was placed upon a vehicle that. Is the vehicle your vehicle? I have a title for it, and it's registered with my name on it. Okay. You don't have papers? You're supposed to have papers. Vending machine is off and on the fritz. So um, I just need somebody to come over and serve you. And and do you have your driver's license? Not on my person, no. Okay. Hey, Fred. What's happening? Living the dream. <laughs> you find out is the Coca-Cola machine working? No. After you, my dear. Thank you. Yeah. Some authority with the AKPF, I think. Um, or actually, no, I think it needs to be someone beyond AKPF. <laughs> Good afternoon. What are you doing? Oh, just who are you challenging are you a parking ticket. Me now? Oh, yeah, I'm challenging a parking ticket, so we're waiting Why for an authority. Why are you recording me then? Oh, I'm recording everything that happens when I'm in the course of challenging the parking ticket. What did they call you? I don't remember what that was. Africist. <laughs> yeah. Africist? Yeah. Oh that was a good gosh. segment. They did exactly what I thought they were going to do. They took everything bad from Cantwell, and then they were like, look at all these idiots, and this one guy. And who are you? Who are you? Oh, I was just going to say hello, that's all. How are you doing? Are you challenging your parking ticket? Oh, I was going to, but oh. apparently you can't you're not being registered. You can tell he so totally thought I was going to be asking something about the Colbert report. I mean, it's, it's like I have the camera, it's out, and they were coming out of something. It's like such a setup for an ambush interview. But it wasn't. I'm just here to challenge parking ticket.
of the people with the medal on their chest. Hey. Hey, good afternoon. What are you doing? Can I do something? Oh, awesome. Did you read about all the parking services? Oh, they have so many. That's great. All sorts of parking services. So with that, 8.30 in the morning, January 16th. Sounds good. District Court. All right. That's the place. Yeah. Peace. Have a good day. <laughs> this is the paper. <laughs> the paper. That exact paper? Yeah. They took our envelope that said AKPF on it. So we got back this one. It's a complaint of a violation. There's all my info, and that's who I am. What did I do? Vehicle being parked at a meter between these hours. Parking time had lapsed. Needs to be signed by the police. And we will be seeing the AKPF in court tonight after that for the trial. So why does it have to be signed by a police officer? Why, why would somebody have to take their time out and come all the way down here? Because it's like a court thing and the court things require a certain level of of badge preparedness. Now, the person behind the counter, she actually identifies as a parking enforcement officer. It, in court, that was how she identified herself, even though she's not out doing the AKPF stuff during the day. I'm on the, uh, the Bradford uh, fitness plan where when I see Bradford, <laughs> I have to run away from him. So that's been, Instead of just talk to him in the middle of the street yeah. for 10 minutes. I think Graham should go on that diet. I think he would do wonders for him. He should, Does he need like to lose sees, more weight? When he sees Bradford, he should run away. <laughs> Work on your sprinting. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's looking good. Oh, thank you. Um, is this thing still going? Minute and a half of this. Are there more? Are oh, there? No, I, don't, I don't know what these <laughs> these folks are about, and I think it's great that they think we're uh, so important and so powerful that yeah. they need to. Well, we we have definitely become their crusade. That's I right. mean, this is this is what they're all about. I think they swear I, they wake up and eat, drink, and smoke us. Well, I don't know about that. They get right on the old. They don't think they, they probably don't smoke, but well, they eat if you stop passing out hair samples to people, it's. <laughs> Old school joke right there. Holy Is it an old school inside joke that I didn't get? Just, <laughs> just bounce, they let out a blood curling right 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 scream. Right There's a certain guest on this show that would definitely get that one. About hair samples? But while you brought up religion, yeah. uh, New Hampshire is considered one of the most atheistic or non-religious, non-theistic states in the in the United States of... Uh, is it America. is it New Hampshire or is it Vermont? Or Vermont? This is New Hampshire. I don't know. But I know we're in New Hampshire. <laughs> what? 
I quickly became a non-theist after moving to Florida because I met a whole bunch of crazy religious people, and I was like, wow, religious people are crazy. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of them down there. <laughs> Pretty funny. Graham's going to run his mouth at times. So, yeah, excuse me, sir, can you spare <laughs> some change? No, I can't. Is that a camera? Sir, can you spare some change? Yeah, he's holding his camera. <laughs> he's holding Maybe you should, camera. Sir, can you spare some change? Maybe you should can do you something see? productive. Can you spare some change? Excuse me, sir. I guess that's being seen. Excuse me, sir. Can you not touch me? Sir, can you spare? Can you not touch me? Now, as you can tell, within like an inch of the camera, you just see like his eye and part of his nose in the frame. He's got some good pores. I mean, he's right up in the in the guy's nostrils, and he keeps repeating, "Can you spare some change?" I don't know. Maybe he saw that South Park episode. I actually did give a panhandler pizza once. I left Domino's when I worked there out in California, and he's like, "Hey, spare some change. I'm hungry," and I had like three slices because you know i hate myself and i'm like oh, you want you want some pizza and do back. not touch me sir. me sir sir you're assaulting me, me. <laughs> sir you're assaulting me <laughs> now at this point bradford is actually sir, touching graham me. Me, sir, which is pretty screwed up yeah, maybe according you to should get people, a job he's putting hands on him on his chest <laughs> where did oh, rich paul rich. come from <laughs> yeah, and then rich comes out of nowhere <laughs> was he eating a milkshake yeah, he was like <laughs> like he has like yeah. ice cream on his beard. he has seen some shit look at that <laughs> oh no uh rich has Holy got ice cream God. all over his face <laughs> let's good, just say that that's right there. yeah he's, he's wearing his jedi um, that's hoodie. the free state project right there <laughs> and he's he's stopping this incident from taking any place he's being he's being or he's a very serious rich starting Paul. a new incident <laughs> or maybe he's you know Holy he's escalating God. it well this is a creative I, tactic <laughs> here I mean, he's if, a diversion. He's like a well, really he's, big he's smoke not, bomb. He's actually not looking at Bradford. He's just using his <laughs> back and he's just kind of nudging into him and like, I don't know. I think that might be the way to... He's enabled, Graham have he's a trench coat and just like... Whoosh. Ensuring that Graham's able to move backwards. Oh, okay. So Where was he? Here it goes. We need security cameras do, from... Ma'am. Now Excuse Bradford me, claims sir. he's filming it. Can you spare some change? Excuse, <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Do not touch me. Excuse me, sir. Can you spare some change? Excuse me, sir. Can you spare some change? Excuse me, sir. Can you spare some change? This is you got giving that out me. Your system Excuse me, sir. Can you spare some change? You done yet? Yeah. This is giving system me system flashbacks. Yeah, how long you, you done do yet, Graham? Oh, uh, he does it a little bit. This is a ten and a half minute done. video. Yeah, we'll go. We'll we'll shoot over to some you know, parts done. here. Right. Are there more of Rich Paul <laughs> jumping out done? with? All right, still right up in his nostrils. Sir, you need to back away from me. You need to back away. Yeah, so here... Sir, don't make me unleash the rich Paul. I believe no. it. It's he will come up story, from... Graham. I'm lying. You look like the son of a crack whore. <laughs> <laughs> you act like the son of a crack whore. I, I think you, you should... talk like the son of a no, crack whore. Point, according that's according to Daryl, we would be, we would, uh, be appropriately <laughs> <laughs> and using force. I disagree. The would he seriously get over that? Without getting no. <laughs> Proceed. Like, that is such a move to just passive-aggressively keep on it. Wait, wait, wait. You can do it! According to Rich Paul, that was an incident, or it was an, an opportunity to, I don't know, smack Granford, Granford, Radford in the face. What do you think What do you think he was inciting? No, Rich was not saying that you should do that. He was saying that according to other people that aren't sitting at this table, that they may happen to believe that if you get sufficiently offended, that mm -hmm. it would be justifiable or appropriate so if, to use So if you're force, a medarchist, which I, which I just learned... totally disavow. Which I just learned last night... Uh, it, if someone else who is uh, who believes in a certain uh, philosophy is all, all on board, then uh, you have every right to splash it right back in their faces. So if they believe that violence is the solution, presumably, I would think that most people who espouse that belief though wouldn't act on it in yeah. each of the instances where they think it would be justifiable, whatever that means. Well, I mean, how would you? All right, so Graham could have just walked away. Yeah, and that would have been. I, I think the ideal thing to do here, but but it's been on for three minutes now, and they're still standing in the exact same spot. And to, to which and, looks like they're, they're in the making, middle. You know what? The island in the they're middle. They're making of a scene right in the middle of Central Square. Everyone yeah. knows who these guys are. They know. Scuzzle they know. Scuzzle one and Scuzzle two. They know Bradford is an old kook. <laughs> But no, then, no, but then Brad, you got Bradford's two, like the the uh, he's Graham in thirty or forty years. <laughs> <laughs> That's really what's going on here. Pretty Bradford much. sees himself. Oh wait, when wait, wait, he was wait, like Twenty. And I, yeah, I know. I got it. So Bradford sees Gra uh, Graham. Excuse he, me. Get your act together. Yeah, he's like. There can be only one. <laughs> Bradford's at. Bradford can't have Graham. They can't be in the same zone at the same time. They're going to cancel each other out. So this is what and this is what's taking place. There can only be one Actually, rooster in the. I know what happened the here. Coop. 
What happened? Uh, I know what happened. <laughs> this is actually Graham. Bradford is Graham. Yeah. He's somehow come back in time. To warn oh, him to about warn the future. Him. He's trying to be like, South Park episode. if you if you continue on these ways, you'll be like me. And Rich Paul's the bad Terminator. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Snark, he, he does, snarfing he, on that mac and cheese and milkshake. He even has leather jacket and everything. I mean, he's totally the Terminator. Man. Next time you see Rich, Beck can put his hand in some boiling molten steel and see if what happens. If he Let's survived. be scientists. Yes. That's Come on, how why sci- do you hate science? That's how science do the thing, right? Hold It'd on. be edgy. All right, here we go. there's any other jewels in here. Do you remember anything, Garrett? <laughs> um, well, I think Are there the any more videos. smoke bombs? Ten minutes? <laughs> yeah, Holy it's crap. Ten and a half of that. <laughs> of nose hairs. I need ten minutes of that. When you're, yeah. This is because Disney copyrights gets all the good cartoons taken off of YouTube. We yeah, got when your nose hairs start to blend it's into got your... 42 <laughs> views instead of three and a half. It's got some comments. That guy is funny. Oh, look at this. <laughs> that guy is funny. He should run for mayor of Keene. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Both of they them. They all should. Oh, They're, Rich did try to run for mayor. Two yeah, they are the same. So two That's of right. the people in this video, two of the three, did try to run for mayor. Um, one was not able to get on the ballot because he was incarcerated. The other, I Nobody believe, was on the ballot, coming. but did he get primaried out by Daryl uh, Daryl W. Hutchinson, or I forget how it went. Uh. But <laughs> Lane Kendall ended up being sufficient in the end. It happened, and they they got beat out. So, yeah. Do you want to continue on here? Is there more to watch? Oh, Does yeah, it ever you end? Just keep it going, and then when it gets some of his background music. Did I hear you? I said that you refer to yourself as the King of Keen on FreeKeen.com. Oh, oh, as long oh. as he got the website and out. FreeKeen.com is the official <laughs> website of the Free Keen Group. Yeah, it says Lenko Bearcat. You got that Lenko Bearcat? <laughs> yep. Yeah. You know what Bearcat stands for? It's an acronym. Ballistic you know engineered. Uh, okay, I don't remember the rest Let's of it. Let's do this. Really care, Two out of seven. Hearing all so the sound bite values here. You know, yeah. I'm ignorant, I don't, but I, I don't, don't care. Seven so far. <laughs> I don't care too much about weapons of war. Sorry. It's either ballistic enhanced or ballistic engineered. It's funny that oh, Bradford so anyway, yeah. doesn't even yeah. know what it stands for. As for you asking me for change, yeah, yeah. you are cor- you, you are correct. The, hat, the hats to remind him. Could I talk? Go ahead. Can I talk? You've already said that. Okay. Go ahead. Talk. You can't talk over me. Why not? I don't like talking over people. It's rude. He's deficient. He's not well trained. I can talk over you, but I don't enjoy doing it. Okay. Anyways, as for chains, I do have. Why train this schmuck, huh? I do have money. Get out of my face! Get out of my face! He's a self-admitted son of a crack whore. Who doesn't know his father? That'd be the grand drop. He's a self-admitted son of a crack whore. It's funny. It's funny that you actually believe that. Well, if it's not true, what is true? What is true? Yeah, what's well, true, Graham? Come on, I want to hear Nothing else truth. Don't matters, so man. Truth, non-initiation, <laughs> of is the minimum truth. standards that should be ex- and expected. And smoke blown out of his mouth. <laughs> you already did initiate <laughs> force. You go to my face <laughs> and you touched me. To move you back. I, I initiated okay. force. I, yes, you put your hands on me. That's not him. I put my hands on him. Yes, you put your hands on me. He's talking to Rich. Same B conversation. Right palm out. Thanking me for change. Change, yes. Because I saw you put several dollars worth That's of That's correct. In the parking I did. You know what that money yeah. is? Money. That money. That money oh, is. Who, whose money is it? Okay. If, <laughs> hey, if you. <laughs> now, now, Graham is about to give well, we the, the secret of Keen out. Donations oh, from people who have Why is he going to free Keen? Oh, should, should we pause oh, we it then? No. It's fine. Yeah, but the show is about censorship. I mean, but that's. It's not so much censorship as it is protecting our. The cherished values. Yes. The values. I mean, you. I, I want people to know it, but they had to come here to get to find the secret. I think Rich Paul's smoke bomb was a secret to Keen. If we just lit it all out, they'll have no reason to come here. If you and scuzzle it up enough downtown, you can have Rich Paul showing up in front of your waist. <laughs> that's with you, ice cream, that's with ice cream you know on his beard? Made, made it in life when Rich yeah. Paul comes out of nowhere and like he appears in your videos. And, and like saves you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. He's like a knight, really he's like a knight in sal- shining armor. Is this salvation? All right, so, is it, Seven, so the secret's about to come. Minutes. <laughs> the secret's about to come. All right, let's listen for it. Here comes the secret of Keen. Robin Hood is funded by a vast underground cabal. Actually, oh, sh- <laughs> So it's not the Koch brothers. Oh, oh, wait, it gets into that. It's an underground cabal. That's where Rich Paul's coming out of. <laughs> That's right. Hold on, I might even have something for that. Yeah, how you doing, man? Good evening. Yeah, I got a notice of hearing for you with the um, the Brad Hutchinson thing. Okay. Did you know this was coming? I think you already have um, 
the paperwork for the, on this, don't you? Um, this is, no, this is I didn't to get anything of the, today. Of the court date. But yeah, I knew that he had appealed it today, okay. so it would be bumped up to something else. Yep, this, I'm just here to advise you about the notice of hearing. It's uh, been moved to 11.26, 1.30 p.m. at Chester Superior Court, okay? Um, I can go over this word for word if you want. Sure, that would be great. Just some stuff that... Um, this is all your information. I won't go like read your date of birth over the. the yeah, no need computer. for personal info, but uh, any nope. like. Um, so what's written here? Assistance by Leach from District Court arraignment. The alleged victim, Mr. Garrett Ian, has committed repeated acts of stalking against myself. This is obviously talking about Brad. In public spaces, despite seeing me from some distance away, Mr. Ian has continued to ride his bicycle on downtown sidewalks towards I don't know where it ends or starts. Might go to another page, so I'll get there in a minute. But he's saying he has suffered the following financial losses and the result of stocking, medical, loss of wages, loss of personal property, and other. So he's requesting for protective orders. Intellectual property. Yeah. Wow. I don't know. Yeah. This is what this is what the hearing's for. You're gonna go up there and say well, your side of the story, obviously. Okay. Um, so it's restraining. The majority have a active restraining order against on him, or he had one on he you? He has a no-contact okay, order with me that Judge Burke issued as a condition of his bail. I okay. was never even informed of it, but it, I haven't okay. really made any attempt to contact him. Yep. But I've heard that it was only one way, like, okay. that I don't think there's any sort of order for me not to contact him mm -hmm. at the moment. Okay. Well, this is asking to restrain the defendant, which is you, from stalking in or abusing Brad having any contact with me, whether in person or through third persons, including but not limited to contact with telephone, letters, fax, texting, social media, email, the sending of delivery of gifts, or any other met method unless specifically authorized by the court. You are restrained from the defendant from following Brad for appearing in proximity to his residence, place of employment, school, or following or appearing in any other place where he may be. Restrain the defendant from stalking, abusing his relatives or members of my household. Restrain the defendant from taking, converting, damaging property in which I have legal, equitable interest in intellectual property. I'm not really sure what that is. Um, direct the defendant to temporarily relinquish to peace officers any firearms, deadly weapons. Do you have any weapons at all? Like big guns or any type of guns? I don't believe I'm any sort okay. under any sort of obligation to answer this type of question. Defendant is well known to have, he's just very access to firearms, but you don't own any. Uh, everything else is crossed off until we go down to 14. Uh, or the defendant to pay for financial losses suffered as a direct result of the stalking. Direct the defendant to attend personal counseling. And let's check other. Uh, I work as a self-employed street vendor. I sit in downtown Keene and handcraft natural art objects and educational materials, which I freely distribute and receive cash donations and returns. The small cash flow is vital to supplement my meager SSD and SSI income Mr. Ian Stocking and myself has interfered with this rehabilitation program on myself and has cost me some cash money, exact figures unknown you're going to get a copy of this too man so, uh, oh yeah I appreciate yeah. you going yep. over the whole thing uh, and it says continued me in an obvious attempt to See how close he can come to me several times. He has come within literally 10 feet of me while I was sitting on a bench. For example, when I have seen Mr. Ian from afar, I have done my best to avoid any eye contact. And there has been no verbal or other contact from my past. Many months ago, Mr. Ian actually collided with me when I was standing on the sidewalk in front of Keen. I'm not really sure what that is, something off us. That. Interesting. Public. I don't know if that's the library or something. I don't know. I guess this um, may end up being part of his defense in court. I don't know. Yeah, it's probably what he's going to say. What they're going to go over these forms with you two, uh, which was witnessed by John, the public defender, investigator, and Mrs. Mindy Kimbrier. The group known as Free Keen and Robin Hood is, have both engaged in a pattern of stalking against me for several years now. The case is in district court is in. I don't know what that word is. I can't read his writing. Of gang stalking. And the court is well aware of FK and RH 
groups and Mr. Ian have been in involved in my numerous court proceedings over the years. They and Mr. Ian do not respect the law or the court. I do not respect the court. I claim upon information and uh, it looks like believe that is Mr. Ian's intent to provide a cause of violation of my release conditions as occurred on December 25th, 2005 in a case involving Mr. Eli Rivera. Upon information, I believe Mr. An Mr. Gary Ian in conspiracy with others is attempting to subvert and prevent the New Hampshire legal system. Please grant this STO so that I may I can't read his writing again. Better protect better protected from Mr. Ian's behaviors until this matter is fully adjudicated by the New Hampshire court system. Interesting. I don't really have much, or never have had much interaction with Eli Rivera. So. Okay. Yeah, he's going That's back to what something he did. So this, he's going back to like 2005. It's. I get one more page here. Further, affiant stalking by Garrett Ian against Bradford Hutchinson. Subsequent to the filing of the original STO attached here. Mr. Ian has also stalked me at my home on Elm Street. I was sitting on my steps when he pulled up on his bicycle, obviously filming me in his video camera. When I saw him sitting there, he rode off. Also, I witnessed him stalking, stalking Mr. Fred Parcells and the City of Keene employees also on Elm Street. I called in a brief verbal report to KPD dispatch and he made a, I don't know what that word is. On the call log. A note in the call log, maybe? Mr. Ian continues to harass and stalk me. I do. Have I swear and affirm under. I don't know. I don't know if he writes all that under his signature. Yep. That's Copyright. The, yeah. The above oh. is true, correct, based on my knowledge, information, and belief. Signed, Brad Hutchinson. So. This is going to be your copy, Garrett. Okay. Uh, it says, <clears throat> no temporary orders are issued where this case shall be scheduled for a hearing with the plaintiff. So, show up, I guess, and be able to tell your side of the story. He's going to say his side of the story. Um, so, again, it's Cheshire Superior Court at uh, November 26th at 1.30 in the afternoon. Okay? That's okay. Yours. So, that is, <clears throat> I'm trying to think, is that a week from the uh, days I don't know what day it is, but it's about a week, week out. Today is the, the 17th. 17th. Yeah. It's the 16th. Yep. All right. Okay. Hey, Gary, if any questions, give us a call. I'll call the court if we can help you out. I mean, we can't change these. These are written by the judges. So, okay. Yeah, I have a question yep. about... Uh, I know somebody has tried to apply for one of these in the past and been denied. I'm wondering if uh, there's, like, some sort of criteria for which a hearing is scheduled. Is it a matter of filling out the form? Or? It's filling out the form and then what the circumstances around it. I've seen people get denied a couple of times. It depends mm -hmm. on what's going on and what's happened in the past, how much of a, like, threat the other person is to them. So, okay. Interesting. All right, Garrett. Have a good day. Have a good take evening. Take care. Make it safe. I'll come here and take care.